Santiago. Santiago Johannesburg. Hi Roman, congratulations on a beautiful performance, sir. So Thank the you. line got yeah the line got cut off. So if I'm asking something that's already been asked, I'm really sorry. So here we go. No, no stress, brother. Thank you. There is something truly special happening at ATT. And you can see that in Bellator. Last week, you had Austin Vanderford winning dominantly. And before that, you had Cody Law. And I'm probably forgetting a lot of guys. What makes this gym so special, according to you? Yeah, you're also forgetting Johnny Eblen and uh, Dalton Rasta. We, uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> like you said... Uh, we just have a countless number, uh, countless you know number of names. You know, top guys have been doing this. You know, this is their this is their career, this is their passion. You know, just like me, uh, we love what we do. And right now, what, what's great, you know, I've made I've just made the move, and uh, right now there's a there's a camaraderie at the gym that uh, you can feel. Everybody's there, and the, everybody's there, everybody's working, everybody's growing together. There's no animosity, there's no egos out there. We're all growing. You know, I can ask anybody for advice, and you know, nobody's nobody's big dog and nobody. Everybody's willing to, uh, you know, just work. And it's, it's a great it's a great environment right now. And I, and just in the short time I've been there, I've I've grown tremendously. You know, the guy that I fought is a wrestler and. If, if anybody knows anything, that was that was always kind of a chink, and I think I defended three or four takedowns right there, like it was nothing, man. I, I'm I'm growing, I'm growing, I'm gonna continue to grow, and like I said, we have a we have a great group of guys there that are working, and women, obviously. Did you feel like the ref should have stopped the fight immediately after the knee? And the reason that I'm asking is because you quickly stopped after the ref said stop, stop, stop. Um, you know, part of this game, uh, even in the back. The ref, his his rules are, listen, don't stop until I tell you to stop. I mean, obviously, when I hit him with the knee, um, he fell, and uh, I noticed uh, pretty quick that he was kind of out of it because he, he slumped over, his head hit the canvas, you know. So, you know, um, just throw a couple shots. You know, I'm a gentleman at the end of the day, I, and uh, I got But, you know, it's a business, and my, my job is to finish the fight. So, you know, you don't have to load up and crush everybody there, even though a lot, you know, if, if you can, but I knew, I knew the fight was over. Just, I got to keep punching until the ref says stop. So, you know, it is what it is. I, I got to do my job. Enjoy the victory, sir. Thank you very much. All right. We'll go to Darren. Your line is left. Thank you so much for having me and congratulations, Roman. My quick question for you is, is there a career accomplishment that you're most proud of at this point? Uh, I would say, uh, you know, debuting for Bellator and finishing the fight with a second round flying knee. <laughs> I mean, that's a, it's a pretty big, uh, pretty big, uh, how would I say, ex uh, accomplishment for myself and a uh, great experience, you know, to come in here and, you know, finish the fight how I planned. You know, we had been working that for months. So just to come in here and do exactly what I planned to do, uh, it just feels really good, you know. And when you have a great deal like that today, how do you like to celebrate? Food. <laughs> a lot of food, man. I'm, you know, so we're going to go. We got the family here. I, you know, I'm blessed. My, my uh, parents came, uh, even though they, we couldn't have a crowd. So we're going to go and celebrate, go get some food, you know, enjoy the spoils of a victory and uh, just eat, get a little fat. And then, you know, tomorrow you'll see me. Uh, I got to back on it. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. We'll go to Darren. Oh, I'm sorry, Donna. Hey, Ron, congratulations on what really was a, a clinical performance. It didn't look at any stage like you were in any great deal of trouble, but your opponent, he was a veteran. He had a, a whole lot more experience in the pro ranks than you. Were you expecting for that to go the way that it did? Uh, you know, to, to be blunt, yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, the sport, it, with experience comes knowledge, and but uh, at the end of the day, I... I I like to, you know, I believe in myself. I believe in my abilities. And um, I'm just very excited that I was able to come out here and showcase my skills, you know, be able to move around, you know, establish the jab, you know, uh, hit good counters and, um, you know, again, finish. So, you know, even with the experience, uh, like I said, I, I believe in my abilities. And, uh, you know, that's all it comes down to belief, man. The, the, this game obviously is very physical, but um, the mental side is huge. I think a lot of people uh, underestimate that. So. Yeah. You're going to now go and celebrate with your family. You're going to, to eat some food. So I would imagine maybe the weight's going to balloon a little bit and you're not going to be ready for the uh, the quick turnaround uh, if, if Bellator were to ask you. Oh, no. I mean, uh, luckily, I, luckily I have a fast metabolism. So <laughs> <laughs> I'll, be, uh, I'll be able to eat. And then, like I said, tomorrow, I mean, nothing changes. Tomorrow's Saturday. Tomorrow is my uh, 
we get some conditioning in the morning, then we're flying back. And then uh, Saturday, we got technical sparring. You know, we're getting right back to it. So if the call does come, I'll be ready. Ultimately, how was your experience in the bubble? You know, between training during a crazy time in lockdown and then coming in and having to quarantine and then going out fighting in front of no fans. What was that all like? Um, honestly, man, obviously with the quarantine and the COVID, it, it, you know, it, it kind of makes things tough. You're kind of cooped up in the room. But I'm also a homebody, so it doesn't really bother me too much. But all in all, man, the experience here at Mohegan Sun um, has been amazing. With Bell Bellator has, has, you know, done a great job. They took care of us, man. We, I didn't have you know, anything I asked for, anything that I needed. It was just a call away. I had a, I had a great experience, um, training, just all, all around. Just the experience was amazing. So I thank you know, thank you to, to everybody at Bellator and everybody here at Mohegan Sun. It's been, it was, a, it was phenomenal. Thank you so much for chatting to us, and I look forward to your next fight, man. Thank you, my man. All right, we'll try Dan. No, Dan. All right, we'll try Keith. Keith, your line is live. Roman, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Hey, Roman, congratulations. You look sensational tonight. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to go back to when you were talking about your team. Uh, you, you were naming so many guys. I mean, that room is a who's who's room. The, the, the amount of champions in that room is insane. Is there one or two guys, you know, a veteran that you go to that is really invested in you? Um, well, so currently, you know, uh, right now I've been uh, – these past couple of weeks I've actually been spending a little, uh, more time with uh, George Masvidal, Jorge Masvidal, uh, you know, straight Jesus. So I, I, try, I spend a lot of time down at um, Elite Athletic Performance uh, under the uh, – the coaching of Juan Carlos Ferraldo, my cousin, and uh, Paulino Hernandez and uh, uh, Gallo. I can't remember Gallo's last name, but that's my man. <laughs> but I spent a lot of time down there, and, and you know that's that's George's home. So uh, here lately, I've been spending a lot of time with him. Um, obviously, uh, King Mo, he was in my corner. Uh, you know, mo making the move over there. You know, it was even before I made the move, King Mo, uh, just, just on a handshake, bro, King Mo uh, took me in and, uh, you know, invited me into his home. We were doing morning trainings. And then once when I finally made the move, I had King Mo in my ear. Oh, that's that's a dude I could hear uh, on, the, on the mats. So, you know, like I said, man, uh, a lot of, like you were saying, just uh, countless names uh, in that room and to have to have to be able to have the guys in my corner that I do and, and, and giving me the knowledge that they that they've acquired over the years has been um unreal man very surreal very surreal moment so yeah you mentioned uh want to improve your wrestling i don't know if there's anybody better to improve your wrestling with than with king mo uh I, you're undefeated i believe you were undefeated as an amateur too correct me if i'm wrong yes, uh, ten and no pat, currently. okay ten and no. <laughs> pat, pat casey if, if people who followed his career he's good like that was a good win today yeah. how far do you th but you're in bellator now it is you know, in my opinion, their welterweight division might be their best division. How far away do you think you are to your facing, you know, one of these guys who headlines a card, or Paul Daly or Lorenz Larkin, like you, a year, two years? What are you thinking? Um, you know, that's not for me to say. That's uh, that's up to the promotion. Uh, right now, my, my biggest focus is uh, just staying consistent with my training, man. Um, you know, I've seen, I've seen tremendous success in me being focused and staying disciplined and, you know, constantly working, constantly grinding. So right now, that's where I'm at. Uh, just continue, continue doing what I'm doing and, uh, you know, growing. And when the opportunity presents itself, uh, I believe I'll be ready. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Roman. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you, guys.